Although I do have some good news on the front of keeping America's best and brightest away from serving our most evil and destructive, vile political class from armytimes.com, Army Lowers 2017 Recruiting Goal, More Soldiers Staying On. The U.S. Army will not meet its mission to recruit 80,000 active duty soldiers this year and has officially lowered that goal. <clears throat> but Army leaders said the service has been able to encourage more experienced service members to stay on the job to satisfy a growing demand for troops, like those who couldn't figure out something better to do with their lives than kill for politicians. Army Sergeant Major, Sergeant Major Daniel Daly said Friday that the updated goal will be 76,500. Now, that doesn't sound like much of a cut, right? They're only going to cut 3,500 out of 8,000. But six months into the recruiting year, the service has brought in just 28,000 new soldiers. <clears throat> so if they're able to keep that up, just to do the math real quick, that would be 56,000. If the trend of decline doesn't continue, that's 56,000 out of 80,000. I'm really excited by this. And just to give you a sense of the numbers, Daly said the goal is to grow the Army to 483,500 as approved by Congress. And it's up to the Army whether to use more recruiting or re-enlistment. He said that retaining current soldiers has been more successful this year than in the past, with 86% staying on compared with 80% in previous years. Holy crap, do they bribe you to stay in the military these days. I shouldn't be telling you this because it's like it's one of the upsides. But if, if you do four years, especially if you're in a specialized MOS, I mean, I don't know what it what it is now. I'm sh I mean, it's I, I don't want to encourage you to go look up the benefits. But even when I was in, you were hearing about guys getting like five, ten, twenty thousand dollar reenlistment bonuses. It's insane. And if if that's how they have to make paying for this all volunteer army uh, possible, then I, I, I mean, I object to all of it because it's all funded by taxation. But um, this is just this is a great sign. That that's what they have to do. They have to, and, and, and this means that the people staying on in the military, uh, you know, are, are not are not the best and the brightest. So I, I'm not I'm not looking forward to, uh, you know, more wasteful spending, more inefficiencies in the military. But overall, this represents a huge increase in efficiency for the economy in general, for society as a whole. Because no, it does not contribute to your quality of life to have millions of gullible young men dressing up in silly costumes so that one day they might meet in the middle of the field and kill each other because they're wearing different colors. No, militarism is a drain on the economy. War is the health of the state. That means it is the disease of the people to suffer from. And the sooner we throw off militarism, the better off we will be. As someone who did, uh, you know, a bunch of counter recruiting in my time uh, with the Rock Veterans Against the War, and I guess I still, I guess I still am an active counter recruiter. I, I mean, I get messages all the time from people like, "Hey, I got a kid who wants to join the military. What would you say to keep him out?" You know, recently we just posted on Steam at one of my old videos, "Joining the military will make you a man." About how that myth is all bullshit. So, I guess people were listening. To us, counter-recruiters, maybe people are just listening to the truth and figuring it out for themselves. But yes, I mean, this, is, this is very good news for freedom. Bad news for the military. Thank you to YouTube for hosting this video and for being an essential part of human progress by making video hosting available worldwide to everyone on the internet. However, the next phase in human progress is here with Steemit.com and their video hosting alternative blockchain-based solutions including DTube, and you can find that through steamit.com as well as my own page there, at Adam Kokesh. This is a decentralized blockchain-based social media network that pays you fairly for your content. Already, I'm regularly making more there with a single post than I do from an entire month on YouTube. So please join us on the next frontier of the information revolution at steamit.com. And if you want help getting a leg up there, I'm happy to re-steam your posts and make sure that no one is starting from scratch. Just email me one of your favorite posts at adam at and we'll share it on my feed.